and bags of what appears to be marijuana found piled up on streets near a homeless encampment. So where did they come from? It's our top story at six. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. And I'm Siobhan Klepfer. An activist out of Lansing took to social media to show dozens of empty bags of marijuana at a nearby homeless camp. And that is many people asking, how did the bags end up there? Our Kyle Macon has been looking into it tonight and he's here for you now with what he found. Sherry Siobhan, I found more than 30 bags like this one that have barcodes on them, all of them with traces of marijuana inside. The activist I spoke with today claims that people get these bags by dumpster diving. He says it's been going on for about a year and apparently they were just thrown away. The state says these companies must destroy the pot before discarding it and they must make it unrecognizable. Clearly, these ones are not. State officials say companies could face severe fines if they don't follow these guidelines. The other concern is that the marijuana may be dangerous. My biggest thing is if the homeless is out there or out there and they're going through this waste and they're smoking this stuff, they could get powdery mildew in their lungs. They could cause medical complications. Uh, the, who knows what chemicals are put in those testing kits that are, are littered all over the ground back there. It's definitely making our environment sick. It's making our animals and our, and our ecosystems sick and it's making our homeless sick. We have to act. We have to do something. So the big question is, where are these bags of weed coming from? The name of several dispensaries are listed on the bags, but experts tell me that the bags were identical, so they must be coming from a testing facility. We, we, we reached out to the Cannabis Regulatory Agency for more info on this, but it refused to comment. Sherry Siobhan, back to you. Kyle, thank you very much for that.